Grr, readings on Caffeine Rage, and welcome back to more of Let's Play RimWorld. A little bit of just a lull going on right now. As nothing really major happened last episode, it's just uh, slowly building up. Uh, uh, we did expand our growing a little bit, and we're starting our brewing operation eventually. And the hops need to kind of grow still. You know, they've, uh, they're only a third of the way done. So, I think this episode... Oh, and we did mine this out as well. Which, we need to remove some more of the roof over here. Oh, and we get hospital beds, so... That's gonna keep us out of trouble. Hopefully. Now, the question is, what to build next? I'm thinking... Uh, uh, do we want to expand our uh, hospital uh, and go for a vitals monitor, or do we want to... We could do electric cremation and uh, really get rid of graves and have to build more, because, you know, uh, more uh, enemies keep showing up. Or we could do surrogate organs, which will get into all sorts of fun here. I'm surprised this has gone so well, but then again, we've been in a really, really defensive position. Mm. You know, let's get fire foam. It's quick and... It'll, uh, well, allow us to uh, protect our uh, battery bank without having to really do much with it. Let's see. Um, what also we need is we need to build the brewery at some point. So we'll put that there. It is a bit far away from this, but eh. What else do we have that we need to do here? We have an electric smithy that we can work with. I'm just building all the things now. <laughs> uh, yeah, that looks good for now. But, uh, component uh, building. Uh, we haven't done that yet, have we? No, this has just been a marathon recording session for me. This is my eighth episode that I've recorded in a row. This game is fucking dangerous. <laughs> I, I realized my voice was starting to feel a little bit worn. I thought, gee, how many episodes have I recorded? And I look at my raw uh, uh, footage folder and I see eight. Or, or sorry, seven. This is my eighth. And I wasn't exactly at a great spot to quit, so here we are. So this allows me to finally make knives, which I should have built uh, ages ago. We could also make artillery shells. Low velocity uh, designed to be fired uh, from a mortar. Okay, so I'm not sure what the difference is. Now let's build one since it re just requires steel and see what it does. And we'll also. I need to watch the power here. I think we may actually need to uh, build more power. Uh, as soon as it started to go down here, uh, we uh, lost our charge. Hmm. And this pure, poor grove's to oh. oh shit, a flash storm. <laughs> Bacon! <laughs> the lightning struck the pig! Oh, 
<laughs> that was glorious. <laughs> oh, I love it. What is Kemet's doing? Oh, he's hauling wood. Yeah, he would do that. Yeah, I didn't see the artillery show. Uh, where it was dropped. It may just be a kinetic thing. I don't know. Or it could be, uh, you know, overlapping with uh, the, uh, the border shell. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, we got a few fires going on that may cause some problems. Thankfully, they are isolated from my base, so uh, it's not that big a deal. In theory, at least. So, brew beer, details. If I only have a 12 pack left, I need some more. Okay. Just allow uranium, steel, and plasteel. And I want eight. I wanted to make sure. Actually, let's go ahead and make nine. Hang on, how many is this? Go oh, that's going to take me 900. And. Oh. Well, I got a ton of steel. Still, let's only build five for now. Cargo pods. Beaver skin. Yummy. Some muffalo out here. And a dead alpaca. What happened to you? Anyway, well. Go ahead and mine here a little bit more. Yeah, this has been a kind of a docile area. Maybe I should have uh, upped the difficulty. Well, uh, here's the thing is that I haven't played this game a ton. And I was also running with mods that I haven't done extensive testing with. I've done some, but not a huge amount. But the thing is that there's always the possibility of me just getting fucked by a random chance. Okay, so we're definitely still good there. Aki's very hot and so he's picking on food. Uh, I bet he has the fucking trousers again. Yep. Okay. Where are the trousers? Because obviously that is causing a lot of problems. It's just the, uh, I guess the second pants, you know? Trousers, trousers, trousers. Trousers, trousers. As a matter of fact, there's Groove dropping off a pair.
He's still hot, but he's not uh, very hot. So what else do you have on that's dropping your heat? Tunic. So, Hassan. Tunic, tunic. Travel wear. Tunic. Okay, does that help? They're still hot. Probably the fur pants. Oh, at least he has a really good mental break threshold. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's definitely climbing up there. Oh, I've been uh, low, uh, raising as minimum, uh, but yeah, you know, it's just uh, the heat in general. At least I've gotten from very hot to just hot. So that's uh, reduced his mental break. And Biff is making a knife. That's not a knife. <laughs> Yeah, without the uh, windmills, it's two thirds of the solar panels. Psychic drone, all the male uh, colonists, which is a good chunk of people. Actually, let's see. Okay, we finished fire. Th um, we'll pause there. I just realized. We have a huge sausage fest going. <laughs> I never really paid attention to the uh, genders. Okay. Everyone is male except Jared. But Jared is also a lesbian. <laughs> uh, so we could all just be hunting uh, uh, all the ladies. And nobody would mind. Uh, maybe I should have uh, made a uh, thing where you know it was forced gay on everyone and made a gay uh, uh, colony. That would have been hilarious. Oh, the power is still going over here. Oh. <laughs> Boy got burned a little. A little toasty bacon. Yeah, that's 36% grown. Maybe this was a bad idea because I think it's block. Uh, some of the light is blocked here. Yeah, look, 31 versus 36. Growth rate. Um, let's watch this climb. 100. Yeah, look, 85, 85. Yeah. And we only got part of our grove here actually uh, at full. Mm, that's not good. A little disappointing. Oh, finished our knife for Biff. Or, no, he's still making it. What is this? Crafting's up to an eight. Oh, he's having lunch. Bad animal. Oh, fuck. Okay, well. Yeah, we have a bit of a situation on our hands. No, 
No, I want hollow point. Yeah, these guys. Oh, chemist, why do you not have a weapon? Oh, wait. I bet. Yeah. Equip. <laughs> okay, so meat's back on the menu. Yeah, you know, just making sure that there's no more heading our way and doesn't look like it. Well, just when you thought that, you know, having 800 thrombo meat and uh, 1300 muffalo meat isn't enough. Well, there you go. Oh, yeah, I set up, I got it in a really good defensive position here. So, I'm a little surprised how well this has gone. Poor mood from Red Panda. Oh, malnutrition. You're just hungry. Uh, Red Panda, don't start uh, being like Aki. I swear. Okay. Obviously, we need to up this, or we just need to have... Let's see. Aki and Jarrett. Okay, that looks good. But I also want to increase this to 45 with a lower threshold of 25. It's going to keep Aki busy for a while, but eh. Or Aki and Jared. <sighs> Puppies! We got spaghetti and Cory. Male, uh, a, a pair of male Labrador retrievers. Let's bring them home. Uh, and Groove is already trying to train spaghetti. Look at that. 35% chance to tra uh, train obedience, though, so that's not bad. Okay, so animals, we can unrestrict uh, those two. and uh, These two will be extra haulers once they're properly trained. And that's the main thing I'm training them for. Uh, I want to train them for uh, obedience and... Rescue. I don't want to do release for these two because I don't want them on the front lines. Yeah, but I'm so glad we got puppies. <laughs> oh. Poor mood for Aki. What's your. Uh, uh, the psychic drone. That's right. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Can't do a training job because of full inventory. Okay, that's weird.
Okay, wow. Well. That's gonna be annoying. Groove. Let's move you to pistol for now so you could uh, take care of that. Maybe I should move the weapons and the uh, ammos uh, closer together. Oh, we need our research. That's right. Okay, what do we want? Because we have a lot of options. Get large rockets. Or rocket sounds fun. Or gun turrets don't do anything. That's I have no idea what this uh, is supposed to be. Because the automated turret is what you normally would think of. But let's see. Did I get component making? I wish this was in alphabetical order. I have no idea what the order is supposed to be on this. Because there's really no rhyme or reason for it, so. Let's see, charge shot. Kind of assembly, that's what we need. The local gazelle has gone mad. Yeah, bad move, Gazelle. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, for the next uh, colony, it's definitely going to be up the difficulty, and I am going to move around some mods. I'm not 100% sure what I'm moving around yet. I have a couple ideas, and a couple ideas to increase the difficulty with combat realism, because things are dropping a lot quicker in this uh, and you saw just how dangerous it was whenever I was uh, in combat with the uh, mechanoids. You know, I got... Uh, uh, who was it that had 300% bleed out uh, from just a couple of hits? Well, because they got shot in the kidney? Matter of fact, that reminds me. Oh. Food poisoning, lovely. Okay, it looks like uh, whoever got shot in the kidney, and I can't remember who. Uh, didn't lose it, thankfully. I'm gonna have to extend this. I didn't think I was. Huh. So, yeah, I'm thinking increase the difficulty uh, a chunk of spaceship. But then again, the game is being unbelievably kind with uh, the cargo pods. You're in a little pain, so you decide. Uh, I'm in a little bit of pain, so I'm just going to be dazed for a bit. Oh, come on, Aki. Sad thoughts. Oh, I swear, if if you go kill yourself, uh, I'm going to kill you. Reminds me, I need to see. Oh. Oh, spaghetti has been trained to obedience. And he's assigned a biff.
So, is there anyone that wants uh, spaghetti? Anybody want spaghetti here? <laughs> Uh, it doesn't look like it. So it's really just a question of, uh, oh, okay, there's that done. We'll chop down some more trees, or try to at least. I think I need to build another grove of uh, trees like here. But the thing is that as we're getting further out here, uh, it's becoming more and more likely that anyone attacking will uh, jump us uh, or go into that grove and uh, just destroy it. Okay, this is taken care of. So zone area, expand no roof area. I think we're okay to remove these. I hope so, at least. So, mine those out. Yeah, Biff could uh, do that. Then haul that. Start compacted machinery uh, in the freezer. Okay. Yeah, no, Aki's probably gonna go take a nap. No, he's... he grabbed something. Oh, he grabbed a pair of pants. He took his pants off and started wandering around. And his long coat. Okay, well. Damn it, Aki. Ugh. This is barely enough to. All right. Okay. What I'm going to do. Oh, no. Cancel that. I'm going to mine here. I'm going to put a third cooler in here because look at uh, the temperature. It's not quite maintaining. Oh, hops are done. Horse chemist isn't a hauler. Let's see, zone area. All the things. just the question of, uh, well, really wrapping things up, isn't it? Looking at the time again, once again. Oh, this is, time has just flown by. It's ridiculous just how uh, quickly this game uh, just eats up time. Look down and suddenly, you know, half the, uh, or half an hour has pretty much gone by. But while I'm thinking of it, you know, really anyone could do this. I want you know, man the gun. No. I keep man steel. Oh, okay, great.
Okay, there we go. So, I was the only one. So, zone orders, zone area. Okay, well, that should be it for that. Which means I could successfully move up my defenses at some point in the very near future. As a matter of fact, while I do my outro, go ahead and start it. Let's see. Marble once again. Marble. 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 And... There we go. So we have our forward uh, uh, defensive point now. And it looks like it would be a good spot. Uh, um, I'm not sure what I could do different here. Oh. Shit. <laughs> Well, we've had our first death. Chemist, uh, mining the rock out from under a giant boulder, I guess. And the thing is, you saw me put up a, a no roof area here. So I'm not sure what I could do differently there. And I had to get rid of these supports, so. Oh, Chemist. Well, I wonder if uh, he is under that as a body. Now we gotta find out, huh? Oh, that that sucks. So I'm, I'm sorry, chemist. So we are definitely going to be looking for a new colonist. Chemist was always well. The thing is, chemist was also the most expendable. I'm sorry, chemist, but you were you were very niche. So uh, we need to up the mining on someone. Kyle is too busy crafting everything in sight. Oh, wow. Look, he is up to a 17. So I think uh, Red Panda's uh, going to be our new uh, uh, miner. Oh, that, that just stinks. Yeah, I'm just uh, getting constant uh, roof collapses there. And I'm not sure what I could really do about that. See zone air. Yeah, I think this is going to have to do and uh, just have uh, a little bit of cover there. Uh, not something I want, but mm. the other option is just to start uh, throwing explosives. But we don't have very much FSX. But well, we have twenty nine, but we don't have a way to replenish it. So. That's Chemist's uh, burial site. We finally lost one uh, this deep in. That that just shows you we need to up the difficulty. Yeah, we also lost a plasteel knife. Well, at least Chemist will be armed wherever he went. So he does have that going for him. Oh. Chemist, chemist, chemist. Well, that was rather a stupid way to end things, but mm, that's how it goes at times.
Look at it this way. We've had so many chances for honorable and meaningful deaths. We needed something to balance it out. And unfortunately, chemist was our sacrifice for that. And it, uh, we finally got something that, uh, uh, for the roof collapses that keep happening. Yeah, I'm just trying to yeah, overhead mountain, so there's no way to really get rid of that. We'd basically be mining that out, mining that out until eventually uh, the roof uh, collapses enough. And I'm not sure that's something we would really want. So, uh, feedback as always is appreciated as I stupidly lose a, a colonist, finally. And I can't even put, uh, build a proper uh, memorial for him because he just got crushed. He's a greasy stain under this pile of rock. Oh, poor chemist. Hmm. But uh, if you wish to leave your final thoughts about chemist, uh, feel free to do so in the comments below. Or, uh... Uh, yeah, just tell me what a dumbass I am for not realizing that this is a mountain. Oh, well. I should have seen that one coming, but oh. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty new to this game still. And also, uh, different mods are having different interactions and I never know exactly what's going to happen until it happens. Uh, anyway, as always, uh, subscribe if you see more of this nonsense. What is Jared doing? Okay, I want Jared to pull some kibble out for the puppies. And the uh, uh, good thing that kibble is a, a sort of a catch all. Anyway, thank you for watching. And hopefully, we won't lose someone as stupidly uh, next time. But until then, well, I guess we won't find out. Well, until well, next time. I'll see you.